Hi everyone, it's that time of the week again where we're learning our new words of the week. I hope you've been practicing last week's words because we've got a new set of words this week. So here they are. Let's have a look and see what special friend you've got in your words this week. We've got er, we've got ow, and we've got oo. So you will see other special friends, but they're the main sounds that I've been focusing on for you. And you will notice this last word, okay, we're going to read it in a minute, is one of our red words. So what we need to do is pause the video and read the words. So we've got nurse, purse, turn, brown, town, clown, grew, chew, knew, and because. And I've included a red word in there because we've been doing lots of work on conjunctions and you need to know how to spell because. And you can help by learning a mnemonic, and that is big elephants can always use small exits. And there are different ones that you could learn from about because to help you. And there's lots of other ways you can help learn lots of other words as well. But that's the one for because. So what I want you to do is I want you to copy out your words of the week, please. Nice, neat handwriting. Write it on the line and write each of these words out. Pause the video. Off you go. So now what I've done is I've chosen a couple of words and popped them into sentences and that's what you're going to do next. I want you to pause the video and see if you can read my sentences. So let me read them to you are we ready. I forgot my purse when I went shopping. So I've used the word purse. My mum is scared of the big clown. So I've used clown. My sister got a new laptop. So I've used the word new. So what I want you to do is I want you to choose at least five of these words because I think you are more than capable year two. At least five or you can do all of them if you want to. And I want you to put them into sentences remembering capital letters at the beginning, full stops at the end and your neatest handwriting and writing on the line. So choose five words and pop them into sentences. Pause the video and have a go. Let's have a look at our handwriting then. So again, we're moving on to our joins. So let's have a look at our letters. So we've got an I and a D. So ready? We do I, lean in for our I, and then we go straight into our D, tall letter, and then come back down, and then we do our dot above our I. So and my pen never comes off the page when I'm doing my joining look. Can you see? We go straight into the other letter. So I still do my lead in for my E, and then I just go straight into my D, which we know how to write like that. And then we're going to do the same for E. So again, we do E straight into our D, nice tall letter, come back down. So my pen never comes off as I'm doing my E and my D. So I'll do one more E, and then into my D straight up to the top. Oh, that's not a very good one, is it, Miss Creaser? I'm sure you can do much better than that. So I want you to do a line of id and a line of ed. Don't forget to send in your work via tapestry because I do look forward to seeing that. Have a lovely weekend. Take care.